With the release of WMS version 8.4 comes an integrated interface for the HY8 program. This enables a culvert analysis to be coupled with a hydrologic model in a few simple steps. To develop a hydrologic model and integrate it with HY8, the HY8 modeling wizard will be used to guide us through the process. First, we will give the project a file name, and then the project's coordinate system will be defined, though the coordinate system for this project has already been defined. Now we will load a DEM and topographic image into WMS. The roadway centerline and culvert crossings will then be assigned. Here we enter the properties for the culvert crossing and roadway centerline. The elevation profile for the roadway will then be set up. A constant elevation to define the roadway crossing will be used. Running towpaths will now compute our flow directions and accumulations. After towpaths finishes, an outlet for the watershed will be assigned. WMS will assign the watershed outlet to the upstream end of the culvert. Now we can delineate our watershed. Now the hydrology model will be initialized. For this project, NSS will be used. The next few wizard steps will be skipped for this model. We will now apply the model cleanup feature. Now we will select the outlet and run the simulation. The model will be set up for Utah with the Region 4 equations. A mean basin slope will be assigned, and the results will then be computed. Now we select the 100-year recurrence from the results, and compute the hydrograph. We can now view the hydrograph at the watershed outlet. Here we assign our flow source to be the hydrograph from the outlet. Our next step is to define the tailwater center line. The properties of the tailwater channel will be entered here. We can now view the HY8 parameters. Most of the parameters have automatically been entered by WMS. The roadway data is modified and the culvert data can be entered. A 10-foot culvert will be used in this analysis. Lastly, the site data will be entered. H8 will run and the results can be viewed. WMS will then develop a storage capacity curve from the DEM to route the hydrograph through the culvert to determine the effects of the culvert on the watershed hydrograph. The routed hydrograph will then be viewed next to the original hydrograph. An upstream center line will then be defined. This prepares the model for floodplain delineation. Floodplain delineation options will then be set up and the inundated areas will be delineated. We now observe the flooding results. Notice how the flooding changes over time as the storm hydrograph progresses. In order to see the results more clearly, we will go to our display options and change our contouring method to color fill. <laughs> 